is a very interesting young man. He advocated on his own behalf to come and get some help for some of the symptoms that he was experiencing. He was having a hard time sitting and finishing his homework or getting enough studying for that test. I would kick a soccer ball around outside or I would go on my phone. I also noticed it at school because I would forget my books in my locker, I would zone out. At that point, I decided I needed to tell my parents that I needed to get help. My husband and I did our own research and we came across the clinic and realized that they had the QB test and saw that it was objective and that's what really pushed us to go in that direction. The results provided us with some very clear information about the presence of clinical and significant levels of ADHD symptoms. When I first saw my QB test results, I was a little hungry because it was the middle of the day, so I thought of spaghetti. It looked like someone just dropped a bowl of spaghetti on the floor. My movements were everywhere. I wasn't focusing on the correct spot. So when they brought someone else's test who didn't have ADHD and compared it to it, it looked like a meatball. It showed me the symptoms and the hyperactivity that I have compared to others. As I was watching the results and, and hearing all the things from the director and the psychologist, I realized that you know maybe the apple doesn't fall far from the tree because each time we talk about how he would read a page and he couldn't retain it, I kept thinking, oh, that's me. Well, it, it just brought up all those memories of my childhood and just things that I sometimes are challenged with today, that you know the focusing and you know starting a task and ending up with three other ones. So that's when I decided to um, have a conversation with the director and she said, you know, you should take this test too. This is, this is not uncommon for the parent to have an issue too. And sure enough, I was off the charts. <laughs> First challenge I had when I got treatment is that it didn't make me feel right. So my doctor prescribed me to a new medication which made me feel much better. When I saw my results, I realized that I was no longer hyperactive and I didn't have the spaghetti. After, I looked like the meatball and my emotions were down. I was focusing properly and I was improving. Now that he's on his medication, he's able to focus at school, he can articulate his issues with his teachers and they're able to back him up and help him when he needs a little extra help. He really understands who he is as a person and that he's very bright and has a lot of good things, but this is just one aspect he needs to do some extra focusing on to help get him to the next level. After the QB test, I understand ADHD and what it does to someone versus someone who doesn't. In school, he feels that he is better able to participate in group discussions and maintain his focus.